Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome, welcome. Today, we're going to talk about dealing with heartbreak. Why does it come in? What are we meant to learn? How do we deal with it, process it, understand it, right? Because many times, as we're going through heartbreak, our emotions are so heightened that it's hard to have clarity. It's hard to have understanding. So it happens to all of us, right? And it happens for various reasons. But ultimately, heartbreak is understanding grief and processing grief, right? Because through the heartbreak, the heartbreak is through loss, right? So it's understanding that we've lost something. Maybe that's the loss of a loved one who has transitioned, the loss of a job, the loss of security, the loss of a relationship, friendship, romantic connection. So that loss will trigger us, right? That loss will go ahead and set in motion the grieving process. And there are times where we'll get stuck within cycles of the grieving process. So how do we really work through that and how do we understand it? First and foremost, It's really one of those things where to have loss is also to have new beginnings. It's a cycle, right? Life is a cycle. The physical experience is a cycle, one for us to process. We evolve, we grow. So through the loss of a job or through a situation of maybe a relationship, it's understanding that really whatever you needed to learn or the lessons from it, have really come to their point to give you an opportunity to move forward, giving you an opportunity to cycle through. So sometimes the lesson is learned in the breakup or in the loss of the job, right? Maybe it's something there for us to learn through losing it that we find ourselves or find our purpose or find our next steps. So it's that silver lining, blessing in disguise, right? So Understanding that now the loss of a loved one is always difficult, right? It's it's not an easy journey, but it is really also understanding that they have graduated. Your loved one has graduated. They get a chance to have their soul experience and evolve on a soul level. So that in itself is really a beautiful blessing as well, even though we may miss them in the physical realm. So As we go through the grieving process and we process heartbreak, so many times people really want to hold on. They just want to hold on to that failing relationship. They think it's their person. They think it's the one. They want to hold on to that job, that job that they're not even really fully enjoying, but maybe it's just the circumstances of having what they perceive to be the stability. But When we can let go of the idea that it's this and only this, and maybe that the universe is trying to give us something more and trying to take us on to the next lesson, the next journey, we can absolutely find something bigger, better, stronger, more fulfilling in all of those areas simply by allowing the universe to present opportunities to us, whether that be in the form of somebody new coming into your life or a new job, maybe a new direction in your life as well. So it's really kind of taking the the loss as a directive, right? The loss is saying, hey, we have this loss, let's process that loss, but then let's move into this direction. You know, if you've lost a loved one on the other side, The one thing I can absolutely share and tell with you is that they do not want to see you stuck. They don't want to see you just in that one place, not moving forward because of the grief. Now, of course, you're going to have your grieving process. We all do. And that grieving process is important. It's important to allow yourself to heal. But healing also takes proactive commitment. It's about you being proactive towards your own healing as well. Your loved one would not want you not moving forward, not being in love, not taking chances, not living your best life. Nobody would want that. Think about that for you and your loved ones now, right? You want to want someone sticking around doing nothing or mulling over 
your passing, you would want them to live or to be happy or to be fulfilled, maybe to find true love again or to find that best friend again or that next relationship. So understanding that and understanding that it's a beautiful celebration, maybe that will help move through that heartbreak that we get from that loss, from that loss of connection, that loss of relationship, that loss of safety. Sometimes what we are attached to is the safety and the comfort rather than the idea of this being the best that there is for us. And when we can say, hey, wait a second, what does the universe want to bring in for me? What opportunity will be coming forward? Are you going back to school? Are you looking for a different job? Are you having an opportunity to live your purpose more deeply and meaningfully? So give yourself those breaks in life. Give yourself that opportunity to, yes, heal, but be proactive about that healing and to kind of say, what can I learn from this? What What is the reason behind this? But ultimately, if the universe pulls someone out of your life, a relationship, friendship, romantic, it is ultimately trusting that lesson in it and that understanding of that there is something more. Because if if one person or one party is ready to go, then there's no way both parties can work together. So ask yourself, what is it I'm meant to learn? How can I grow through this? How can I surrender to the universe to allow them to do their part as to what they want to bring for my next steps? What can I do for my own proactive healing during the grieving process? And how can I tap into my highest self to give myself the best opportunity for the most fulfilling and amazing life? So ask yourself those questions. Do some journaling around it. See what you come up with. And that just may help you work through that heartbreak that you are experiencing. So lots of love to you guys. We have a lot going on, a lot of classes coming up. I hope you are enjoying the summer. But stay tuned. We have the Colby Rebel Show this Thursday. But remember to shine your light and shine it bright, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Bye, everyone.